In just a short span of time, Fenty Beauty has transformed the makeup industry. With a record-setting launch, the brand has maintained its growth trajectory. The foundation of Fenty Beauty was laid in 2016, when globally renowned artist Rihanna collaborated with Kendo, LVMH's beauty brand incubator. The partnership was roughly a 50-50 split, with LVMH owning a tiny fraction more. Both parties invested 30 million euros. For Rihanna, this wasn't a mere monetary contribution. Her global fame was seen as an in-kind contribution, bringing immense value to the brand. The essence of the brand was deeply rooted in Rihanna's personal experience. Being a woman of color, she felt underrepresented by most beauty brands. Although brands catering to diverse skin tones existed, many were not truly inclusive in their marketing and product range. Their research indicated gaps not just for dark tones, but also for very pale tones. Rihanna's involvement gave Fenty Beauty not only an initial surge in sales from her fan base, but also widespread media attention. The brand aimed to stand out not just as another celebrity line, but as a high-quality, inclusive beauty line. They took two years to perfect their product quality, and roped in industry leaders like James Carliados, Priscilla Ono, and Hector Espinal to bolster their credibility. Upon its 2017 launch, Fenty Beauty was marketed through multiple channels, including Rihanna's endorsements, media coverages, and events at Sephora during New York Fashion Week. The initial product lineup included a range of makeup tools and 40 foundation shades available in multiple countries. Their commitment to inclusivity was evident when the darkest shade sold out first. You want more? more, more. You wanna go slow, ain't into it. You wanna talk shit, ain't into it. You wanna slow, that's all about more, 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 more. Fenty Beauty's Instagram broke the mold by predominantly featuring models of color. This narrative of inclusivity and empowerment deeply resonated with audiences, causing a surge in demand that even crashed their official website. They amassed a whopping 1.5 million followers within their launch week. This launch, which shattered previous conventions, saw Fenty Beauty register sales of 100 million US dollars within 40 days. Their commitment to diversity debunked myths that there wasn't enough demand for diverse foundation shades. Their impact was so profound that it prompted other brands to expand their color ranges, although for many, these moves seemed more opportunistic than authentic. Authenticity in branding can be a game changer. Fenty Beauty's organic inclusivity garnered them a solid, loyal customer base. Within 17 months, they recorded sales of 570 million US dollars and achieved a brand valuation of over 1 billion US dollars. By 2019, Fenty Beauty was a mainstay in the beauty realm, expanding its global presence. Unlike other brands that churned out products rapidly, Fenty Beauty adopted a gradual growth strategy, ensuring they stayed true to their core values and audience expectations. Fenty's decision to shift towards a more grounded growth approach demonstrates their intent to be more than just a transient trend. They've proven they're a dependable brand, expanding cautiously yet consistently. Despite some missteps like the failed Fenty Fashion House, they've seen successes like the introduction of highlighters which were initially successful in 2018. 
However, the brand faced its first major backlash in March 2019, when they named a red highlighter Geisha Cheek. While geishas are viewed as artists and musical performers in Japan, in the West, they're often misunderstood and fetishized. Fenty's decision to use geisha without significant Japanese representation was problematic. It clashed with their brand's commitment to inclusivity and respect. Thankfully, Fenty responded promptly by withdrawing the product and later reintroducing it as Ruby Riches. The pandemic posed challenges for many beauty brands, but Fenty thrived, thanks in part to its emphasis on natural beauty. Their extensive shade range for various products resonated with the no makeup trend, especially on platforms like TikTok. Additionally, the brand's global online reach in over 137 countries facilitated their growth. Fenty kept evolving, launching new products like cream blushes, lip glosses, and expanding their foundation and concealer range. They also introduced Fenty perfume and skincare, maintaining their accessibility and inclusivity mantra. Their slow and steady growth approach enhanced customer trust, paving the way for more experimental ventures. Let's talk about cream flushes. Cheeks out, shots, and swatches. Okay, so we're going to show you our cream blush, which is Fenty Beauty's very first blush ever. First up. Rosé Latte. What else would you call this color? Pinky brown. Next color. Bikini, Bikini martini. martini. I feel like that's my color. Good. The next color is called Strawberry Drip. Strawberry Drip. One such initiative was their collaboration with Mischief, known for its quirky marketing tactics. Their joint product, a ketchup-themed makeup kit, where some packets contained lip gloss while others had actual ketchup, became a viral sensation. Such light-hearted ventures could be a fresh direction for Fenty, but they must be cautious. There's concern, as outlined in a 2022 paper, that Fenty's luxury perception might be diluted due to its mid-tier pricing and presence in accessible stores. Collaborations with luxury brands, both small and large, could help restore that image. However, as Fenty's influence grows, the brand must remain vigilant. Any controversy, whether related to products or Rihanna's personal life, could ripple across its entire product range. This vulnerability isn't unique to Fenty, but it's a risk they and other celebrity brands must always consider.